man, it's your boy Sha Sha vs. A Body uh, Podcast. I almost forgot the name of my shit, dog. <laughs> Episode 97, man. We got a special guest in the building. She a actress, digital creator, a dancer, and a skating queen. Ooh, a dancer, a dancer. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's deep. Uh, you uh, can't Ma- tell everybody. Marisa, I'm <laughs> uh, Moniz, what's going on with you? What up, dog? This was super last minute. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you coming. Not only did you come, you came on time. Hey, you know what I'm saying? that's what I do. I don't do that CPT stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm, I'm a little early. For sure, for Everywhere sure. I go. <laughs> Man, people be disrespecting time. I'll be like, God damn, come on, bro. I got shit to do, but niggas don't give a fuck about that. They sure don't. Yeah, yeah. So how you been, though? What's going on? Everything good with you? I'm good. I'm I, I'm exhausted. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah. everything is cool. It's coming sure. together how yeah. it should. I'm mm-hmm. back in Michigan. Mm-hmm. From Atlanta. I see that. I see that. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna touch on all that, all that, all that. You, you, so you here to stay? Um, yeah, we'll say that. Yeah, come on, I see moment, that. But I still wanna, I still wanna move out of state. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to Atlanta or what, but yeah, I still wanna leave. Yeah, that's why I asked what you in the city when you hit me. I'm like, I see Atlanta. Like, I don't know, she in Detroit, yeah. Atlanta, and he's like, but yeah, we made it happen. So uh, we always start everything off with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, you know what I'm saying, give people their flowers, make a long Facebook post about how we love them, mm-hmm. but then say a goddamn thing to them when they were still here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it can't be the, the obvious. It can't be mom, dad. If you got siblings, if you're in a relationship, I don't think you got kids. Mm-mm. It can't be those people. It got to be somebody outside of that that's close to you that wouldn't expect the salute. Hmm. Well, how about all of my, my mommy friends? Mm-hmm. I see y'all. Y'all doing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, my homegirl. What well, you said? You said no close. What you say? I mean, no. It, it could be your, your homie. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It just can't be no uh, brother, sister, or no. You know, okay. saying mom and dad. Definitely want to give my good sis Dominique her flowers because she's always there for me. For sure. No matter what, girl, I love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she get her read on it, yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm yes. saying? But yep. yeah, definitely all my my mommy friends. Yeah. Um, I I never even knew how hard. Well, I'm not no mom, but I see how hard it is. So yeah, for sure. definitely salute. I no, see no, it's hard than mud. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, I'm gonna piggyback and just uh salute uh parents that's that's uh stressed out right now because it's Christmas time. Oh yes, you know what I'm saying because that shit stress you off. You if you can't afford <laughs> the gifts that your your kid been asking for all year, you just like damn. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying it's pressure. It was it's December what third right now, mm-hmm. so the countdown getting real. So you know when you broke, shit get come real quick too. Don't it? <laughs> Don't it? <laughs> so you like, damn, I got a couple weeks to get and this little... time don't wait on nobody. Man, for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of, you know, Christmas, give me a Christmas memory of yours, good or bad, that you just, like, you remember a and stand Christmas up. Christmas me- Ooh. Like, that time you hmm. wanted something, and you like, damn, I ain't get it. Oh, of course. Right. Shit. <laughs> hey, it could be good or bad, because I remember... I'm going to just I'm a just say a good one. So a good right. one would be when, um, you know, because family, they don't come together no more. For sure. But when my family, we used to um, meet up at my uncle's house, and like Ann Arbor, we used to do that every Christmas Eve. For sure. And he had like, I don't know if it's because I was little, but his house just seemed super duper big. Yeah. And you know, we just be over there kicking and vibing, playing games, mm. opening gifts. Great times. I miss those days. Oh, for sure. So much. <laughs> for sure. For sure. My memory is um, I was broke. I ain't worked the whole, like, two weeks. I was sick or some shit. My check was $50. Mm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I know them oh, days yeah. all two weeks. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know what to do. I ain't, At the time, I had a little girlfriend, John, like 18. She bought me what I wanted, too. I wanted uh, this jersey, a Shaq jersey. And then uh, she bought me that with, uh, you know, just throwback, dope, dope man jacket. I don't know if y'all remember Dope Man Jackets. So she bought me that shit, but, you know, I got $50, so I ain't got nothing for her. So mm. I had my last $5. I played the lottery. I hit that boy for 2600 Oh, so, look at that. So I'm in that mud. I <laughs> splurged on it a little bit. I like I had it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she you ain't know, even know. Yeah, like, huh? you know, I got it. You know what I'm saying? You want your nails done? Go ahead. Get your feet done. Got hey. some shoes that she made that her sister was wearing all the time for some reason. I'm kind of mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was my, um, that was my shit. I, I, I paid my mama rent. So oh, I you get rid of it. Like, okay. Yeah, rent was like seven hundred. Like, here you go. You got this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what's up. So that's I, that's usually how like stuff be happening. For just sure. out of nowhere, boom, you get blessed. Yeah, like cause I was broke. I was about to write her a little letter. I was so broke. Like. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I'm just I don't be asking for much, but I probably would have loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, the thought that counted, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. Now, uh, it's about to be 2022. You know what I'm saying? Been crazy two years with COVID and everything going on. So how have your uh, your year been? Like you feel like 
You've been thriving, like, you know what I'm saying? You got some, still got some work to do. Shit ain't been going right. Shit been going good. Like, oh. Talk to me, John. Baby, let it's me, like. <laughs> let me hear it. It's like 50-50. Like, it'd be great. But it'd be bad at the same time. For sure. So I don't I don't even know what to say to that. That's that's <laughs> just the best way for me to explain it. Like yeah. I don't know. Stuff be going good, but yeah. it go bad at the yeah. same time. So it's like I don't know how to feel for real. Like yeah. am I depressed or am I happy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. What's something what's something that went bad that like you like, damn like What's something that went bad? So I um so with my whole moving to Atlanta thing. Mm. I actually like signed a lease for this place or whatever, mm. but the day that I was supposed to move in, the landlord hit me. He was like, "You know, y'all can't." I was getting a roommate, okay. but um, he was like, "You know, y'all can't come today. I'm out of town and stuff like that." Yeah. But I'm supposed to be moving. I'm like depending on him. Like, look, I've been waiting for what? I think I was staying with my cousin down there yeah, for like yeah. three months. Yeah, so you trying to know? Yeah, I feel. I already know. <laughs> Man, I was sleeping on my cousin couch and my back was hurting. So <laughs> I was actually flying. I still have my place out here. Yeah. So I was flying back and forth every week just to sleep in my bed yeah, for, for the sure. weekend. I'm like, Mm-mm, I can't, I can't do the yeah. couch. Yeah. But yeah, so that was that was just terrible. Like, yeah. oh y'all can't come and da 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 da. So I'm like, bro, and mind you, he been on BS for like the longest. But me, I'm pressed. Like, yeah. I don't care because when you moving out of state, it's sure. hard to nah. find somewhere else Hell to yeah. stay. They want you to have however many um paychecks showing that you physically work in yep. that state so i'm like <laughs> yeah you can't find nobody lie about the shit <laughs> yeah you know yeah, for sure man yeah, yeah so that was that was my little hassle right there yeah. but you know everything happened for a reason oh, so like sure. i'm i was tripping but i'm like it is what it is he already didn't seem dependable yeah because you like got that. that bitch and then with a, you know what i'm saying some could have got yeah. terrible and he wasn't gonna be able to help you out you would have been in worse situation you know what i'm saying exactly yeah. so what's that what's a high moment you gave us that low and you know a high moment yeah. mm. my high moment was you know all the the auditioning and stuff that i sure. was doing the the love that i'd be getting on my social media accounts and stuff like that mm -hmm. um i think i had a couple videos that went no that wasn't this year i lied yeah. but i have had a couple <laughs> videos that went viral yeah, yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> like um shit that was last year why am i talking about last year <laughs> whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, get it, I get it though i feel what you said yeah 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 for sure yeah shit my year our year been kind of straight with the podcast shit Everything been pretty smooth, you know. what I'm saying my baby girl about to be one years old, you know okay. what I'm saying. So yeah, my, okay. my my big son about to be fifteen. So. Damn. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How old are you? Oh shit, I'm I'm pretty old. You know, I'm thirty five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn, it's, it's sad though. I be. Do you, let me ask you this, you because you ain't gave my age out and shit like I'm that. I'm sorry. No, it's I cool. I ain't know because that's for that's for females like when they be scared to say their age. Like a dude, man, you soft. You come on, dog. Tell your age, bro. But no. Nah, do you uh we was had this conversation last night me my uh my wife and my cousin do you do uh you young so you probably won't think about it but do death ever come across your mind mm -hmm. like like you be like feeling like damn I ain't did enough and you don't want to just go out because niggas be down left and right you know what I'm saying yeah and you always wonder like damn did they go out like of course you don't know you going out but like <laughs> damn it's like shit I ain't do enough like you know what I'm saying I don't, I don't think I would feel like that I think cause I this is something I think about often I feel like I. I don't even know. I want to talk about this for real, but I would want my <laughs> family to know, like, I'm okay. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm, I don't want to say I know I'm going to a better place because I, I don't know what I read in the Bible or what my <laughs> friends told me. Yeah. But she was pretty much saying, like, you shouldn't be all cocky like that. Like, for you sure. know you're going yeah, up yeah, there yeah. with them. But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I think about that often. I feel like, you know, I would be okay because... Mm -hmm. Here yeah. ain't it. <laughs> it ain't it to me. It gotta be to better me, than I don't feel like it's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too much to worry about. Come get me, Lord. Yeah. Come get me. Not right now. Yeah, yeah, no, Wait no, a minute. Yeah, yeah. I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Y'all think about this like a lot, man. Yeah, I remember as like one one crazy thing I don't tell people though. I mean, you know how you get reincarnated. You talk about reincarnation and junk. I told you a story. I would hate to come back as like a zebra or some shit, <laughs> and they be get ate by a pack of fucking lions. Like they be, they be, they be screaming and shit. Like damn, that be fucked up. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Like then, yo, you come back to the wrong family and junk. You got a fucking uh, druggy as a parents and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, man. It's just some random shit. Yeah, I, I think about. about that too. I be trying to figure out who did I come back as because yeah. baby, <laughs> what did you do wrong? Man. <laughs> hell no, fuck as hell. <laughs>
<laughs> Shoot, get off that. Uh, you know, we, we ain't dying. Let me knock on wood. Ain't nobody gonna be dying in this wood. But uh, growing up, you know what I'm saying? How was it for you growing up? What uh, side of town you from? Are you from Detroit, outside Detroit? Um, and um, who was in the crib, mom and dad, all that good stuff? So I grew up in E Course, Michigan. Mm. So I guess we can say that's where I'm from. Yep. But I spend a lot of time like in the city. Like I, I skate out here. Mm. All of my friends and my fam most yeah, all of my friends and my family yeah. like stay in the city. They from the city. For sure. So that's why I'd be like, you know, I might as well be from Detroit. Yeah, 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 Plus for sure. like when you go out to Atlanta, yeah, and they hear you from. They love girls from Detroit. Oh no, for sure. <laughs> I mean, shit. Atlanta, they're near Detroit now, right now. Right. Yeah, everybody but, there. <laughs> yeah, but um, I grew up, you know, in the house with my mom, mm. my dad, and my two sisters. Oh, that's what's up. That's what your uh, mom and dad still together not to this day. Mm-mm. Oh, okay, damn. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna speak on that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you gotta talk about. It. Hey, that was one of those questions. I, was going, hey. I ain't gonna speak on. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you got a good relationship with both of them though. Still. Yeah, me and my daddy, we actually like we getting closer now. Growing mm. up, it was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, but me no. and him, we got a lot closer. For sure. And for I'm sure. I'm happy about it. How you and your sisters are y'all closer? Kind of, sort of. Okay. It's it's like big age gaps in mm. between us. I'm the middle child. Mm. My oldest sister, she's seven years older than me. And my mm. youngest, she three years younger than me. Okay. So it was like, okay, I can't really hang with my older sister because yeah, she, yeah, yeah. you know, out doing the older people things. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and my youngest sister, she can't come, you know, hang with me. So. Yeah. No, I feel you because my brother, my oldest brother is nine years older than me. And my little brother seven years younger than me. Yeah. So it's like you in the middle, like goddamn, like. Yeah, I was like. Mm, this nigga I said guess. I'm too young, and, and then my younger brother is too young, like. What? Right. I'm just hearing shit. Right. Though. So you, know you got to be your own friend at that point. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, shit, we always talk about music a lot on this podcast because music play, you know, what I'm saying a, a big part of people's lives. So you know, who are some people as far as artists you was fucking with just off your parents? Because mom might have been making <laughs> pancakes, dad driving to the store, and you, just, you they artists become your favorite artists. Like who, yeah. who was those people? So for you? definitely um, Anita Baker, Luther Vandross, Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. he's like number one. Oh yeah, for sure. Hell if yeah. I could, I would have definitely went to go see him perform. Like mm-hmm. he need to come back. As yeah. a matter of fact, <laughs> make that happen, Mister Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Yeah, but, Jackson uh, was definitely dope. but yeah who else like i love you know music soul child maxwell mm. oh yes you named some awesome hitters yes. for real. Hell yeah. Yes. Hell yeah people be sleeping on music soul child man what like that what was that one song when he got old and junk love was that love when i think no so. no no what? uh so, so changes sometimes we're gonna change. change yeah don't change yeah 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 when he he got well, his wife got hit, hit, hit mm-hmm. whatever yeah, yeah yeah or shot no she got shot and that's when she was in a wheelchair and all that junk my dog, this nigga with the slow eye got dope though. <laughs> <laughs> no, he dope as hell. His music is, he is. is legit. Um, who else? What about your dad's side on the, on, the, on the little rap side? On the rap side, mm-hmm. I don't think I ever really heard my daddy listening to rap like oh, that. Yeah, I mean, of course, like Tupac, Biggie. Yeah. But um, who else? Those are just the ones that stood um, out there. NWA. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Ice Cube. Yeah. Who else? I just I heard a little bit, but yeah, mostly yeah. like R and B from him, my mama, my grandma, my older sister. Like, yeah. So that's still what I listen to to this day. You know, it, it's funny you say it because I was listening to a uh, a podcast a day at work, and it was talking about like as far as the uh, R and B side today, the the females are killing it, but it ain't no it ain't no male that's really doing nothing right now as far as like on the R and B tip. That's like that's standing out, you know. On the, on the on the girl side, you got a lot of you know girls that's taking over. But I can't really think of a dude right now that's really like killing it for sure. Yeah, nah. I I think Lucky Day is pretty cool, but he I think he kind of like too quiet right now. Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if you ever heard of him. No, no, I, I mess with Lucky Day. I'm a little old, but I mess with Lucky Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mess with Lucky Y'all Day. Y'all like the same age for real? Oh, for real? Oh yeah. yeah. No, he dope. Mm-hmm. I mess with him, but on the, on, I mess with like her on the female side. She, I love her. Yeah, she she sweet in the mud. Like her. uh I just be listening. I just go on title and just start listening to people. Like, but it'd be more females than than it is, you know, Definitely. males. Definitely. Uh, Keon, uh, what's her name? Oh, damn. Kilani. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. She dope. Tiana Taylor dope. Like, but on the male side, like, I'm going back listening to that old shit. Like, Usher. <laughs> uh, sure. Definitely. I'm from Chris Brown. Like, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Now, um, you growing up, you know what I'm saying? You was a young and you used to hoop for a team Detroit. You know what I'm saying? How was it being a hooper? And you probably don't know. I know you hoop. Oh, you went way back. <laughs> Team Detroit. Yeah, yeah. So Gee, you, I think I was, how old was I? Like 11 or 12 when I did know, that? Last minute research, but you know, I'll make it happen. I'll make it happen. <laughs> so was you a hooper coming up? Like, was that something? Yes, that- that's something I did. 
So I used to see my my older sister playing basketball. I used to go to her practices and just watch. And it's like, yeah. can I shoot the ball? Mm -hmm. And I I swear I shot the ball and I made it. I said, this is it. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna get my family out the hood. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, for sure. That was your, that was your, that was your ticket. Yeah. So like growing up, that was like my first love. And then, um, I had got introduced to like volleyball once I uh change schools you yeah. know so i tried that and mm. i found out i was good at that so i'm like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so so but you hoop could you hoop though would you like would you oh good? i still yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. okay point okay, guard okay. shooting guard oh sure, wherever damn. you want me at yeah, i'm there yeah, yeah. i see <laughs> you know what, what you hooping in high school mm -hmm. what uh what high school you went to uh truman okay okay yeah, okay truman high school and you bought all four years or just yeah okay now why you now what happened with it for you to take it to the next level like was you done with it or you just fell yeah, out fell in love with it yeah I ain't gonna lie um <laughs> so I think like my my high school coach yeah. my senior year she kinda like she was just irritating me it's like girl I don't so I actually did quit my senior year okay yep so I actually quit my senior year but it was like girl sick of your shit and i know she probably gonna end up seeing this one day hey, but it's all good. hey shout out to you <laughs> but yeah so it kind of like it kind of like just died down and i think yeah. what had happened was i had got you know very interested and involved with boys too oh, so they, they that's where my focus went as well yeah. and then um yeah, never. I never went to college either. Okay, okay. Well, that is that something that you look back on like, damn, I wish I would have did it because I went to college for uh, my hot month. Mm -hmm. Basically, and then I found out my big son was born. I'm like, <laughs> I'm in class, like, damn, well, how am I gonna get this money? I got a whole baby about to come and shit. Right. And so I had to make it happen. I couldn't focus on school, so I had to start working. Right. It, do you look back at it like, damn, I wish I would have tried it? Or oh, I still want to try it. It's not something that uh, it's, it's yeah. just not gonna happen. Like, no, it's gonna happen. I just. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I went for something that I knew. No, for sure. Like I would love. I didn't. I, like I don't like to waste time for real. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm like, let me make sure I find me something that I love to do. Mm -hmm. And then, like on top of hearing all the the my friends talk about they broke college students and <laughs> no, stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. I'm like, girl, I'm working at White Castle. So I'm getting yeah. paid every week. Y'all can have that. Cause yeah. like, I, I cannot. Yeah. And then you know, I didn't even really have you know financial support like that. So it's no. like if, if I'm about to go to college, plus I wanted to go like out of state as mm -hmm. well. I'm like that. Don't sound like a good plan yeah, for me. No, right for sure, because sure, a lot of times people go to school, don't know what they really want to go for. You get a degree in something that you're not going to use, and you paying back money and shit. Mm -hmm. You ain't you ain't working towards what you was going to school for. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. so if you're going to definitely go to school, definitely let that be something that's worth it. Don't just go because you know what I'm saying you getting pressured by your parents or whatever like that. All right. Now, what speaking of high school, was you a good student? Like as far as did the boys mess you up on grade on the grades? Oh no, no. Like as as far as like grades and being a student, like yeah. everybody would come to me. Can I copy off your? I'm one of them. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate those type of people. I'm trying to cheat you sitting here doing this. You see me looking? Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm petty. I do that. No, nah, unless you paying me. Man, mm -mm. no, I no, no, over there. <laughs> I mean, my hey, I ain't study. Move your fucking elbow. I see that one covering all of. Yeah, cause it's like. Dude, if I'm up here working hard and you just lollygag, like, no, uh -huh. yeah. if I see you trying, then maybe I'll help you out sure. a little bit. Yeah. But if you ain't even try, yeah. it's over. And I'm like that with like anything. You yeah, know, yeah, for sure. Life. Now, now, um, what, you know, we, we talked about like you, you know, saying you be you got a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. you do a lot of vlogs and you tell a lot of stories and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, you know, give us a quick breakdown of that fight you was talking about. Was that like in high school? No, that was. <laughs> I want to say I was like maybe like ten or eleven. Yeah, that, is and that the, was that my first fight? Was that your only fight? No. Nah. Oh, give me a funny. You got a high school fight that you remember? <laughs> oh no, I didn't. I didn't fight in high school. Okay. Uh uh. Oh, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't know that. Yeah, see, I don't know my. That's the one thing you talking about fighting. Like I tell my son, like I'm, I'm mad that he he didn't get to a fight yet. Yeah, freshman. <laughs> because me, I don't know if these things work anymore. Like, yeah, that's how I, that's how I be thinking. But I know they do. I'm like, they got to like all this shit I be talking. They gotta still work. And I'm wait. No, I didn't go say that. I'm gonna say I'm waiting on the moment to, see, but. <laughs> to test these boys. Oh shit! Wait, when last when last time you had to use them was you know? Man, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember because the time, like, when I didn't get into fights, them boys was, like, back to back to back to back to back. Over, like, little yeah, child stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny as hell. Like, y'all want to see if these things still work. <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to text me, like. Yeah, but man. that fight, I think I was, like, probably, like, 10. I was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was low-key scared. Like, the girl, oh. she was already a bully. So, man. I'm like, shit. 
Yeah. She done took my sister bike. Yeah. My other sister K fighter. I guess I guess it's up to me. For sure. Hell no. That's funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. Those first fights be scary because I remember Lionel Sanders. I was scared to fight that nigga. Though. <laughs> that yeah, that nigga. I never forget though. That was like my only fight though. He was tall as hell too. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, all these girls about be watching. I'm like, damn, I gotta get this nigga. Hey man. I got that nigga. You gotta, too. <laughs> my mindset was I'm <sighs> See, the me or you. Yeah, for Either sure. Either me or you. For sure. I'm not about to get embarrassed. You are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you had said something like, uh, why do uh, shy people irritate you? Because, <laughs> I be bro, I don't, I don't know if it's because, like, I just, I just, I guess I don't understand them. I yeah. grew up, my whole family <laughs> is super duper outgoing. No, like, you sure. came, you kicked it with us. My yeah. grandma, she talking stuff. Yeah. My auntie, my daddy, he like the biggest asshole I know. For sure. Um, But, yeah, it's like... What like what keeps y'all so yes included you know <laughs> yeah, I don't know like and you could be shy but you won't even know it like like the people don't know it but you know what I'm saying you could be it's, it could be a nervous thing meeting new people and stuff like that like mm-hmm. I know I hate meeting new people but you would never know yeah like, like that's kind of like how I am like mm, like I'm probably I was you know nervous coming in here but I'm still I'm not about to be like oh no um, as you should yes you coming to you coming to you coming to <laughs> to the hood and you coming to we do this uh, podcast at the crib we ain't no studio you know what I'm saying so it's like yeah. I can see why you you would be nervous. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you say, can you bring somebody? I'm like, oh, of course. I I expect the female, if they come in somewhere they've never been, to bring somebody. Yeah. It's just okay, you know, Dominique might have to come in with the strap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's my, my bodyguard right there. Yeah. She don't play about her sis. For sure. She got the, the, the book is just to the stretch okay. off of me. <laughs> no, for sure. That's funny as hell. Now, uh, I see, you, you know saying, in one of your vlogs, you're talking about you write a lot. What's the last thing you wrote in your journal? The last thing I wrote in my journal is actually me um, writing. I want to write. Well, I am writing a like a web series. I'm gonna post it on my YouTube channel. Okay. But um, yeah, I don't. It was just me coming up with like little ideas. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to share them because well, I don't need nobody yeah, yeah, stealing my yeah. stuff because they good ideas <laughs> and I know they go. Boy, they gonna take off. For sure. For sure. <laughs> now, are you one of people? The people like with the New Year's coming? Do you? Do you write your, your like what you want your resolutions to be, or you like put it out there, or is it something that you think about? Like I know my notes, I write some things down, and I won't say nothing, but I just write it down, then revisit it, you know, towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. And I look at it like, damn, I ain't do shit. I said I was going to do. Wow. <laughs> I'm still talking about working out. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't been to the gym yet. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I usually um, like I said, I'm a writer, so I'm I write. If you look at my, I got journals from when I was like 10 years old. Mm-hmm. So I've been writing for a long time. So I never really just do like just the New Year's resolution yeah, thing. Yeah. If I think of you know something in my head, let me hurry up and write that down. For sure. Or I might even just put it in my notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell and yeah. um, somehow, some way, like I end up just doing it without even thinking about it. So mm-hmm. I write it down, forget about it, mm-hmm. end up just doing it. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's weird to me. Like. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now staying back on um growing up and stuff, what's something that you want to do or be that you never told nobody? Like. With me, I tell everybody, I tell the same story. I wanted to, as a kid, learn how to tap dance. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, dope. Yeah. I wanted to learn <laughs> it how to It ain't too late, man. Go on, get them shoes, bro. <laughs> I used to be in that boy with my church shoes going crazy in the kitchen. Or Dang. I wanted to uh, learn how to uh, play piano. Never did that. And I wanted to know how to do karate. Really? I definitely don't want to go in that mm. mud. Always hell, get my ass whipped by some kid. <laughs> trying to learn karate and shit. So, what's something that you wanted to be or maybe do that you never really told nobody for real? That I never told? No- I don't, I don't. I don't think it was. I don't think I ever. No hidden talent you was in the room doing like. No, because I I feel like I'm good at a lot of stuff, and mm-hmm. it's like even to this day I be finding like new things that I'm good, at and it's like wow, girl, figure it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Hell yeah, no, yeah. But sure. I think I always wanted to be into like the entertainment mm-hmm. industry or whatever. I just never knew how to really go about it mm-hmm. until now. You know, now you got social media, you got oh, yeah, sure. um resources mm-hmm. to figure like everything out. YouTube, yeah, YouTube University. Yeah, for sure. I say it all the time. Highly recommend. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Show. Yeah, yeah. You can so. learn how you can change the tire. You can do anything on that boy. Definitely. You can figure it out. For Definitely. sure. I just jailbreak my fire the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired of paying niggas money, dog. <laughs> Hopefully they don't nah. see this shit and take me to jail, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think like if I had the patience though, I would I would do hair. Mm. Yeah, for sure. For I sure. can I can fix my own up a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, make it presentable. Yeah, if I had the patience to do it full time, mm. I would definitely do it. Yeah, it's definitely a money maker for sure. Now, uh, give me a song or a CD that take you back to a time that you you can remember playing this day. Like, 
Like your first heartbreak motherfucker and Ray J might have been playing or something. Like <laughs> My first heartbreak. Like what's just a song that might <laughs> or your song or C D that just go with a time. It ain't gotta be a heartbreak, it could be a fun time, whatever. But every time you hear this song or C D you think about that time perfectly. Mm, damn. I got so many songs. Let me let me let me just go with the most recent one. I would say was the Summer Walker first album. Okay. I was going through a breakup then. I said, this nigga, didn't, he didn't mess up. Yeah, 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 for sure. And she dropped this album. Okay. And yeah. I ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure, for sure. For sure. Dang, my, like I told you, my song is um, Genuine, My Whole Life Has Changed. Difference. Because uh, when the girl finally was, she finally wanted to be my girlfriend, I'm like, damn, my whole life has changed. Like, <laughs> but we are, we was only together like two weeks and shit. Stop so it. my life changed again. Like, damn, that fast. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I remember that so. Like, damn, my, I thought I was the man. Pulled the baddest chicken. Okay. She like, played me early too. Damn, she ain't waste no time. Hell no, goddamn, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you name dropping? Okay. That's all good. They, they probably ain't watching this. If they is, man, whatever. Though, how you doing? Right. <laughs> now, um, stay on the music tip. Your first favorite rapper or singer? First favorite singer. Hmm. I had two mm-hmm. favorite singers. Okay, who's that? Beyonce and Aaliyah. Okay, okay, yeah. dope, dope. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, what I, about Rubber? Do you you tell you you dabble in the rap? Not really. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. No, no, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> ain't no good rappers right now for real anyway, so it's nah. all good. So you said Aaliyah and Beyonce was your first favorite uh, uh, singers. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about now? Who who you, who you fuck with? Like, that's your favorite. Your go to? My go to. It's definitely um, her, but I still, I, to this day, I still listen to like the older, older stuff. Yeah, like no. I was still, oh Beyonce, when I'm, when I'm about to get ready to go somewhere, freak mm. dress. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm about to get them real good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Now, uh, you were talking, we, we were talking about, you know, the music you was liking because your mama and stuff like that, but like, I guess you kind of like said a little bit, Beyonce, I was going to say, like, once you got your own ear for music, like, who would you rocking with? But I guess Beyonce and Leah was, yeah. was those two. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Now, you, 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 you're you an actress, you know what I'm saying? You do your little thing or whatever like that. At what age did you decide that's something you wanted to, you know, do? Um, I was like 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, even back then, I think I, we, me and my mom, we went to like some some agency, but they was like a scam. You know, back oh, yeah. then they had hella yeah, yeah. scams and stuff like that. Like you had to pay to join, like pay yeah. like five hundred dollars or something, probably even more than that yeah, yeah, to yeah, join. Yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, this ain't even it. And I was ten years old, and I already knew that. I'm like, nope. Yeah, yeah for sure. Scam, something ain't right about these folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was since then, and then, um, you know, after that, it was kind of like. I don't know where to go from here, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Then my mom, she had got into a car accident then. Mm-hmm. That kind of like just knocked her out of the game for for a while. So mm-hmm. it was just like, mm, I'm just going with the flow for now. I guess I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this basketball stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> was you like watching some or like was it like a show or a movie that'd be like, damn, I want to do that? or? Um, it was always me watching like Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, yeah. and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, I can do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. she ain't even funny for real, man. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, or even like, and I had wanted to move to Atlanta then because I was watching like, uh, what was it? Real House was it Real Housewives yeah, out Atlanta? then? Yeah, 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 yeah I think yeah, that yeah. was out then. Um, like the Ti and Tiny show. Like, yeah. I'm like, bro, Atlanta looks so fun. Like, <laughs> yeah. I wanna, they be out there just doing stuff. Mm, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, you know, you know, you you you, uh, you said you was thinking about writing like, a web series and stuff like that. Like, what's your approach? Like, if you want to go ahead and get a movie role or like a TV role, what's your approach to that? Like, how you how you you know saying you get a script? How you you know go about trying to uh, get that role? Um. So first, I gotta I gotta figure out like, does does this role like pretty much fit me? Like, would this be something I would do? Because, um. Everything ain't for everybody. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. So I ain't even about to set myself up for failure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so once I figure out, okay, that, that role, it might fit me a little bit. Or maybe I could tweak it a little bit and, mm. you know, make it for me or whatever. Mm. And then from there, I figure out, like, how can I relate to this character? Or, you know, just, like, little stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, how can sure. I bring this character to life? Yeah. Yeah. So. What's a role you would, you would refuse to do? A role I would refuse to do? Like, I don't give a um, fuck. I'm not taking this role. I'm good. Like, I, don't, I don't think I would do, like, a role where where I got to be, like, naked. Yeah, At least yeah. like right now. Because yeah. I know the, the money ain't there yet. <laughs> but if the money is there, yeah, 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 yeah. then maybe I show a little something fun. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because as a little homie, I was, I was looking for those roles. Like, shit. 
I see a nip. Oh, that's a nip. Oh, she was paused. <laughs> I'm like, Tia going crazy. Like, not to pause. <laughs> no, I never forget. The, the first little breast I seen <laughs> was J, uh, Jay Pickett. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, damn. Uh, Alan Payne, dog. Jason's lyric. Yeah. So they was in there, was it? They went in, in that grass tussling. I'm like, hold on. I see it. <laughs> I'm a young dude, so I'm like, hold on, pause. Like, I'm, I was like, oh shit, okay, bet that's how you they look. Silly. <laughs> Talking about that's how they look. That's what's up under there. Hell yeah. Okay, girl. Sorry, it's here. Happy than the mud. Yeah, but nah, yeah. I wouldn't do like no, no, no sex scenes or nothing. Yeah, yeah like, you say right now, not until you get good. Like, I'm, I mean, <laughs> I'm up there. Like, <laughs> the money is yeah. what we're focused on. <laughs> so if any, like, you know. As a upcoming actress right mm -hmm. now, a lot of things that I do would be for free. For sure. I'm not showing no oh, yeah, nothing yeah, 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 for free for sure. yeah, yeah. right now. That's just all I'm trying no, to say. No, no, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> now, you know, this is a question I wanted to ask because, like, but if you want to answer it because I understand because it's like, or say the right thing, whatever. But what's your thoughts on, like, so many, like, gay roles being presented and things? Like, I don't know how true this was, but I seen they talking about Santa Claus got, like, a little male lover. Really? Jump. And then they even, like, with the cartoons and stuff, like, it seemed like they always got to incorporate something. As far as like same sex and stuff like that, and I feel like it's being presented to a ki to the kids heavy. Like I ain't got no problem with it, but it's like it's there so much for the kids to see. Yeah. Like so, do you be do you feel like like that shit is throwing our face a little too much or no comment because you don't want to say the wrong thing? Mm, <laughs> how how do I want to put this? Because yeah, I, 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 I honestly feel like it it is out there a lot. So I I get like you want to include everybody mm. and adding those roles would add more um ratings and stuff like yeah. that. So it's really like it really be all about the money too. Yeah. But it could be deeper than that. But yeah, for I sure. don't no, go too deep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, because it's like dog, we get it. I get it. But when it's like it seems like when it's targeting like the kids is in kids That's shows what I like, don't like they got two moms and stuff like that. It's like all right dog like we get it. We understand it's here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with nobody's lifestyle, but I just feel like when it's targeted or it's around the kids, like, for instance, like, the whole thing with uh, Lil Nas X, I ain't got no problem with what he's doing, but I feel like that first song, uh, Hometown Road, whatever, was, like, a kid song. Yeah. So my son used to love that that song before he came out, you know, as, as, as a gay man. But it's like, once that song came out and went away, that's when he started doing these wild things. So if your kid watching that one video so much... Of course, the YouTube going, yeah. yeah, it's gonna pop up, and then mm -hmm. he see that one junk he did. I had to hurt and block that junk. Like, can't be yeah. watching that song <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So yeah, sometimes it's a little too much for the, I think for the kids, but for the adults, it is what it is. If you if you gay on the on whatever, I either I watch or I don't watch one or two. Right? Yeah, that's that's all up to you. But right. y'all lead the lead the shit away from the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if that Santa Claus shit true, y'all sick. <laughs> I don't <laughs> say Nick, man. Come on, dog. Come on. <laughs> you know, you know what I could say, but yeah. Come on, bro. Leave that. Come on, just just go. Come down my chimney and give me my my present. Yeah, as you and should. Eat these cookies and drink this milk and go home, dog. I don't need to know who you in love with, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Go back to the North Pole. Why does that, let me shut up? I'm gonna say why does that even matter? You know, right there. Yeah, it, it should matter. It should matter at all. But you know, it's there. It's there. So let me not get you, you know, saying banned from anything. So let me get off that. <laughs> All right, I heard what you said on that podcast. Yeah, girl. for sure, for sure. What I say? Sorry. What, now, what uh, what projects you got coming up? Cause I see that you had like a Netflix series that might be in the air next year, twenty twenty two. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, so when I was in Atlanta, I was a, a background actress mm -hmm. in um a Tyler Perry movie. It was a Medea's Homecoming, mm -hmm. but like, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this. But whatever. If they, if they cut me out, y'all know why. <laughs> in the last scene, in the last scene, I was sitting next to you know the the main cast. Okay, that's just that. Okay. So y'all might y'all might see me on your yeah, TV a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Um, another show I can't really you no know, tap yeah, into good. that. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's just that. But yeah. it's coming. Okay, for sure. It's coming. <laughs> for sure. And like I said, you said Netflix series, so it's coming on Netflix. Then. Yeah, that's one thing you can say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It. So you, you feel like it's, there's something that's gonna be big, like it's gonna take you to that next level you want to be. It could. Mm -hmm. It definitely could. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. And, and, just, and I've been saying this junk because I had a couple of uh you know actors on here, man. Shout out to uh to. Damn, I always forget his name, man. Harris, Thomas Harris. Mm -hmm. Thomas Harris, man. So what up, though, man? I told him, and I'm going to tell you, if you ever write anything and you need a thug number two. Thug number two, yeah. you want to be number I'm, one? <laughs> I mean, that's less pressure right there. No, <laughs> I want to be that nigga in the back. Like, you, what up, Thomas? Yeah, Shout yeah, yeah. I, I got a pistol, man. Hey, put that shit down. That's all I want to say. <laughs> 
Hey, I got you. So, now, um, as far as the Detroit movies, like, are you tapped into that? Like, is that something, you know, have you been messing around with? With the Detroit scene, as far as like you know, saying being these movies and stuff and these little series, because they got McGraw Ave blew up. Yeah. You know, so is that something you target? Or you like kind of like want to get away from that? Because usually when you a Detroit actress or actor, that's what you just is like. Yeah. And that's what I'm scared of. Yeah. Like I, I definitely want to branch out and do, like you know, more things outside of Detroit. Mm -hmm. I think that's more so where I'm trying to get to. But mm -hmm. I have no problem, you know, doing stuff like I just. Uh, shot a scene in this movie called Detroit Dreams that's supposed to be coming out. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah, I heard, but yeah, I, I just they it. called me last minute also, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> and they was like, "Hey, we need you here in about an hour." I said, "An hour? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm on my way." Yeah, but um, you know, I made it, and it was just a small little scene, but it was dope though. That's I had dope. a lot of fun. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah! Now I also seen that you had said something about like you being from E Course. You wish you could have been in the BMF series. Yeah. Oh, I feel like that would have been like. Perfect for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you been, Kato? Uh... Oh no! Oh man! <laughs> Ain't nobody about to tell me they love me and then. Shoot me. <laughs> yeah, like I love you, bye. <laughs> Boy, do you really? Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's something you would have, you would love to do just because that's you know saying where you from and stuff like yes, that. Yes, I think that would have been perfect. That would have been dope. That would have been like legendary. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. No, that's a, and I like the way they're doing that series and stuff. Some niggas. Want the series to speed up and just everything happen right there and there, but it's a build up because they really going off, you know, saying they life or whatever. Definitely. So. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. If, if y'all need me to come in, I'm gonna play a uh, bitch meat, <laughs> big meat's backup though. <laughs> well, you know, say what that nigga that be like if you get sick and shit, you come in, you stand in or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, understand. <laughs> I, hey, what up though? No, but no. What what's some other uh what's some other shows you tapped into it besides BMF that you you know what I'm saying. That you wish you could have been a part of. Like, you look like, damn, that would have been dope. Like, I love mm, that. That I wish I could have been a part of. Yeah. Ooh, damn. Let me see. I definitely, like, I love Snowfall. I oh, definitely would have did that. Yeah, like, so you're a good person. <laughs> you're a good person. That's the best. I told this fool to watch it. I definitely would have did that. Um, sure, whatever 50 Cent got coming up, oh, sir, he, call yeah, me because hey. he putting black, young black actors on for, for real, sure. if you think about it. Hell yeah. But, um, yeah, like yeah. power, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now power starting. The the, the second uh, season of this new jump, uh, Tyree jump starting to fall off on me. Joe. Really, yeah. I ain't I ain't watched the uh, the newer episodes. I only seen the first one. Yeah, and what's saying? I love you, Mary J, but uh, her acting's pretty bad. Yeah. Just, <laughs> Chill out, Auntie. Bad, Chill out, Auntie. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is that Auntie. She just got to shake her her she, nerves yeah, off. She, she be is. looking fresh in the mud though. She do. <laughs> yeah, for sure, fresh. Now, uh, what? Give me your dream role. And your dream leading man? Ooh, my dream role. Gee, do I have a dream role? I just, I just want to do it. You know, yeah, for sure. I don't think I ever thought about that. Yeah, Cause yeah, yeah. like with acting, you can be anything really. So mm. I don't know. It's not really no, no really limits. So on who, it. but who would be that side by side person? You and the movie you in relationship with, with this dude and your <laughs> husband, whatever. My husband. For sure. That's a great question. You know. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh Tyler Lepley Diamond from um Pink Ve girl you girl oh, you she, know she, she hype boy you like oh, you <laughs> say it girl no I literally was speaking him oh. really so what yeah, no, speak on it <laughs> she was Emma like oh, girl yes. I know we was homies for a reason no and it's all funny because I I don't know if y'all <laughs> seen the haves and the have nots no, he I was in that too okay. but I did not like his character in that show but in he said his name is what again um Tyler Lepley okay okay yeah I didn't like his character in the have the haves and the have nots but on P Valley it's like baby I heard that I heard that show was pretty up? dope though I, I heard P Valley I never seen it yeah I heard it's pretty dope yeah, yeah yeah it's dope for sure there's so many shows I gotta go ahead and catch up on that too mm-hmm yeah. Now speaking of, like you said, what you be a, like to be a part of as far as the TV shows, what's a uh, what's a movie that you wish you could redo? A movie, I like wish if you could wish you could be t uh, Taraji and Baby Boy. I always wanted shit. to be uh, Monica in Love and Basketball. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dope movie. Dope always movie. like growing up, girl. Don't even trip. Yeah. I got you. I got something for that. Yeah. <laughs> Love and Basketball was always a go-to movie for me whenever I had a girl company back in high school. <laughs> You want to throw in the movie and you know that she going to like it was that uh, or Friday. Like, oh, yeah, she going to love this. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's so you say you want to be Monica, huh? Yes. Yeah, see, that's what I think they should do. Like, maybe, yeah, that's, redo a, a, a movie and see if you can react and stuff and put it out there. Like, 
ain't gotta be a whole film. It could be like key pieces to see. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That'd be something sweet, man. If y'all want to steal the idea, go ahead. Just create me for real. <laughs> That's kind of what I feel like TikTok is. You know, you put the little yeah, yeah, sound on yeah. there and you act it out a little bit. Now, speaking, of, I see you big on that. I, I don't know. I don't know if I was like. I feel like I was too old for it. Really? Like, is there age limit for TikTok? I don't think so. I, I got you my... just you just gotta have. I feel like now that I'm getting more, you know. I don't want to say comfortable with social media, but I think I'm starting to understand like my audience more. Yeah. Like my audience wouldn't be nobody like your age. It's more so. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to say <laughs> no, it like that. I'm, I'm, okay, I'll, I'll say my, my, shit, my audience shit. won't be grown people. My audience would be like <laughs> kids and teenagers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. Like you old ass nigga. <laughs> I ain't mean it like that. No, hey, it's I no disrespect. I'm good. I was yes. talking shit. I was talking. I was talking to. <laughs> Y'all <are> crazy. <laughs> I was talking shit. That's uh. But, yeah, I mean, but no, so, I feel what you're saying. Yeah, because I mean, and then that's what you really want to target because they on there all day. They exactly. on there all day. Like my son be on that and shit. He on. I be talking shit like though. Why you don't post nothing on your Instagram page? Like nigga, you hoop. <laughs> post some hooping clips. Right. He, I'm like you a ghost nigga. Like There's always <laughs> somebody watching. Yeah. Tell him get on that. <laughs> yeah. He just be looking at everybody else. Jump. I'm like nigga, you ain't post not one practice clip one thing you did in the game nothing mm -hmm. and, and like nigga like dog but he young shit. I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't understand them ain't. niggas <laughs> <laughs> they young and dumb nah I think cause back then I wasn't really like posting my personality and things that I can do either so mm -hmm. I guess it really took for somebody to be like alright you fine we know that but you mm -hmm. funny too yeah 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 for Come sure. on now, you see all these other people making money off of this. What are yeah. you doing? I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, bad. for sure, for sure. <laughs> so you be, do you feel like, uh, cause I don't, I, like I said, I know about Instagram. I know how you connect and stuff. I think that's how I start following you. I think it was through like hashtags or whatever like that. Probably so. But um, with TikTok, is it a little easier to connect with people than it is on Instagram? Definitely. Oh. I don't, I don't know how the alg algorithm works, mm -hmm. but <sighs> it's so much easier. Like I think I'm only at like four thousand followers on Instagram, but I have my Instagram for years i yeah. think since i was probably like 13 14 yeah. but i just made my tiktok almost two years ago and i'm already like catching up to my instagram yeah, yeah, followers sure. so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's a lot easier to you know grow on yeah. there you just gotta really be consistent but that's with anything for sure no fast, fast. <laughs> i think i'm gonna go in there and just post clips of the show or something i like, think you should I, I, I damn sure anybody be dancing doing that little little shit they be doing like, <laughs> i'm good on that part i just watch people post that shit i ain't gonna do nothing though i mean that, that might add a little razzle dazzle to it though a little yeah. little dance but see the there. thing is i coach basketball so i would hate for them to see that but look at this nigga they you'll be all right and you know they gonna think i'm old because I'm, I'm the coach <laughs> <laughs> this old nigga like dancing on tiktok right? yeah it'll look fun though like you bring your guests y'all make a quick little tiktok boom yeah. you post it like yeah. you do that with each one of your um yeah. your guests that's funny right? you ain't necessarily gotta be dancing you can do a little scene yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. go from there true that's true that's true yeah do a little acting scene I can really make my yeah. acting debut there you go yeah. <laughs> yeah. damn <laughs> hey you just threw me something on my yeah right <laughs> yeah, nah, noted like, yeah pass it and on and that's it. funny cause a lot of my friends they'll come to me and ask me about like social media and stuff so I'm like mm. maybe I need to go to school for marketing or I mean, something like hey, that hey <laughs> you never know like you said or maybe you should just go on YouTube and just go ahead exactly, and do it like that for exactly, sure exactly for free hell yeah hell yeah like that's a for real good ass idea like I might take that up <laughs> yeah so that you don't have it oh, okay yeah. okay okay oh, yeah. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a dope idea hell yeah hell, she gave me some free game real quick people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying free game. yeah cause like I said I'm not a part of that TikTok community so I wouldn't know what to you know what I'm saying yeah yeah that'd be something dope though now yeah. you gotta find your own little little something something but yeah. definitely if you look like you interacting with your your mm -hmm. guests that come on the show and like y'all having fun here yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll make people like okay maybe i will come you're like you yeah know, for sure be cool yeah. people yeah, i yeah. feel comfortable to come hey, here I, I am cool people though real yeah talk. you are you know what i'm saying people come on it's all good but no one thing i and then one thing i know about i and i'm starting to learn about with instagram that thing that kind of turned me off from people and not wanting to come on shows I, if i don't see them post enough about what they do mm -hmm. like how are you a rapper or you this and you got three posts and like what are you doing to really get yourself out there yeah that's why and I know it's that you you, <laughs> you be on your you're on your thing doing it you know saying staying consistent and stuff and that's the, why I think people lack on with social media is being consistent definitely because they want I, them results right away yeah and if it's a thousand niggas doing what you doing and you ain't posting yourself or you know saying sharing your stuff then what you doing so definitely digging yourself in a hole yeah <laughs> for sure for sure oh hey, you wasting a, a whole bunch of time yeah cause yeah one dude wanted to come on and he was a rapper but I'm like bro you ain't got now nothing to my music right not even in your bio it's not even nothing I can click on even go listen to anything oh uh, nah so it's like bro you're not even giving me nothing <laughs> yeah. to work with yeah. hey rest in peace but only thing you got is a rest in peace to your uh, to your brother on this page that's it oh wow but you sending me to my so yeah nigga I wanna get on the show and talk about my, 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 my music nigga what music mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah that was gonna be his show 
he was gonna be doing out the talking. Yeah, for sure. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to say. Like, damn, I ain't seen nothing. Hey man, how you doing? Right. <laughs> That's it. So as far as the um, with you, you know, what I'm saying with the, with the acting game, what's some uh some short term and long term goals you got? Like, oh, why why I feel like my brain just be going blank when people ask me that. <laughs> I should have brought my journal because I write. I told you I write that stuff down and I'd be forgetting about it. Mm -hmm. But um. Would this be a short term goal? Like, I definitely want to quit my job. Oh shit! Hell yeah! You, you want to do that immediately? Like <laughs> tomorrow, today. <laughs> so yeah, short, short. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. I'm sorry, y'all. No, you good. Short term goal would be to quit my job, mm -hmm. like next year. For sure. Yeah. Oh no, no. That's, <laughs> that shit, I, like I said, that's, I can't wait till I, boy. I can't wait till I do that shit. I can't wait. Yeah, because I was, I was working at Delta before I came back to um, Michigan, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what? I want. I'm gonna get them five years. I said that back in what was that, 2017, mm -hmm. and I, I ended up quitting before my five years is up. So I'm like, okay, okay if I can leave Delta, I can leave any other place. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. giving this job a year, maybe, yeah. maybe less. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Yeah, for sure, dog. You're gonna do it. it, and that's the move. I think that that's what people learn. You know, since this pandemic and everybody was trying to get that free money and stuff. Like, in the day, shit, man, fuck, I want to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. Especially if you ain't got no kids, you can really take that chance if you ain't got no no kids and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, working people, that's the one thing you scared to, work, to quit your job because you got kids. Yeah, you gotta make sure you keep some stable money to come in. But if you ain't got no kids, shit, risk it. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely what I'm about to do. Hell yeah, hell yeah, because if, if I had no kids and no relationship, I'd be, hey, my back would be hurting on the couch, because like, I'm here, cause. That's funny. <laughs> no, but, for sure. But uh, my long term, definitely want my, my entertainment career to take off. For sure, for sure. No, that's, that's going to happen. And then when it happens, you're going to remember me, and you're going to remember of I want course. that role. I got you. Say, put that shit care. down, <laughs> and we're going to rock out. Hell yeah. Now put, how about give me that shit? Yeah, that could, that could happen. That could happen. <laughs> yeah, give me that shit. Put that shit down. It's both hard. Both yeah. it be hard. Put my ice cube voice on and shit. <laughs> now, give it here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> give me that shit right now. <laughs> Try not to laugh and jump. So, the, so that move to Atlanta was just strictly like, just strictly on your career. That's yeah. it, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, everybody thinking like, Atlanta, oh, you, you gonna fuck with Tyler Perry? Like, I mean, yeah, that's, but you can still do your things with like, people on the come up definitely yeah yeah that's, so, that's what i was trying to do <laughs> oh, yeah. but um it was it was cool like business wise it was great but like as far as you know my whole living situation i'm like i can't even yeah, focus right now yeah yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> fast when last time you uh so you say you you when you've been back here for how long um i've been back here since like august august oh so it ain't been that long yeah so you the plan is to go back though right Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going I'm to go there or Cali. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not staying here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you, you, you say that to say because, like, do you feel like you can't get enough love or get seen in Detroit? Nah. I mean, it's, you just like, it's just it's just like I don't really want to be here. Like, I hate the winter time. It's, it's, all, it's all just me. It's, yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with nobody else. I feel like, if you know, people going to rock with you. They're going to rock with you no matter where you at. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, uh, this is, you know funny shit but when the last time you got a good crying a good crying yeah like cause uh, <laughs> the reason why I say that because man I got a little emotional yesterday man watching um the DMS documentary really I'm like damn like it was a little part like if nobody was around my would tear my would came down a little bit but seeing that my cousin and stuff was right there I didn't want to do it in front of him <laughs> what's that on Netflix uh it might be. I don't know. Fire stick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. I... <laughs> Dang, a good cry. I think I get me a good crying every week. Yeah. I got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm not, I'm not tough, but mm. yeah, I got to, I got to let it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like to keep stuff in. No, you shouldn't. It ain't healthy. Yeah. yeah. What's the, what's the silliest shit you cried about? The silliest shit I cried about? Like, why am I even crying about this shit? Damn. What, what? what? It's always a dang old movie I'm watching that make, I can't even think of the movie that I was watching <laughs> yeah. that made me cry. <laughs> but one thing that I, I will cry over is watching people get proposed to on Instagram. If oh, shit. You that, emotion. it's like, I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. I ain't gonna do it. And I end up doing it. Yeah. Now, you say you cry about proposals and stuff like that. So, do that mean once you, you know what I'm saying, once you get into that situation, do you expect something real big? Because I ain't gonna lie, my proposal was trash. Really? I'm gonna redo it though. I got this plan. And I'm gonna redo <laughs> it. I'm gonna redo everything. But it's the plan gonna be dope. And I, my wife don't be watching my podcast, so it don't matter. But <laughs> I'm gonna redo the whole little thing. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. I, I proposed to her right before I was about to coach a game and stuff like that. Aww. We was in like 
like I was in hoop shorts and stuff. Like I'm gonna make it better though. But it's funny, like the whole no uh, no it was, it's just us. Oh okay. Cause we both like we ain't no shop people, but we ain't like the type of people that want to be like. We gotta do it for everybody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Make I mean, she cried, so it was, it was good enough. Oh, I would have cried. Yeah. So do so do that person gotta do something over the top for you? No, but I would I would really love it. I feel like I deserve something over the top. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm a I'm an extra person myself. So like, when I when I can afford to, everything that I do will be big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we talking about some silly shit that I asked you. It was the crazy shit you cried about. This is episode of Martin when he gave away his shoes to his boy who didn't have no he had holes in his shoes. Mm. I get most every time like God damn, <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you a good person dog. <laughs> like, you got so you wouldn't have did that. <laughs> hell no, and, and it was my favorite uh, George the Twelves too, white and black. Like I'm like he was that much. He, he gave him the shoes. And I'm like damn. I, I always get a little eyes get a little worried and gonna start sweating. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, that was the silliest shit I cried about, man. Aww. But it's okay, but niggas be acting like they too. I'm much, I'm much of a thug to say when they cry. Shit. I don't like that. Yeah. I do not like that. I'm like, baby. <laughs> Re- relax. Let it out. Yeah, for sure. You look tense. <laughs> Get it. No, for sure. You need, like that, you need that cleanse going on. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I'm like, boo, you got a lot built up from when you was five years old. You're 28 now. Man, for sure. Niggas shit. do. Niggas be hurting, dog. Don't even want to say it, though. Yeah, I don't Man. like that. Now, uh, speaking of the guys, do, do guys try to connect with you on some like on business or like collabing on some shit but they using that as a way to get on like you know she do she she you she, know where they mess up she at she do a little acting let me go ahead and act. yeah <laughs> they they mess up by trying to talk to me first and then they be like okay well let's do this i see you acting i see you want to do this yeah. like no i already see what type of time you on yeah, you should yeah, act yeah. like you wanted to collab first and then go but i don't want to teach y'all the game yeah, no, for i'm sure. just gonna shut up <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, hell no, and and staying on that, you know, saying you made a YouTube some awesome time you got cheated on. <laughs> you told a story about that, like, so what's the signs from a female uh, point of view that you know, like, with a dude? Cause we stupid, you know, what I'm saying we we fuck up a lot. Right, we don't, we don't, we don't, you know, what I'm saying we don't get our shit together. So what's some signs you know if a nigga cheating? Cause I, with me, with a chick cheating, you can just tell some shit. She coming in different times. Like I was in a relationship and she was coming in extra late, and mm-hmm. I never forget. That's why I be kind of. I feel some type of way when I listen to Wale <laughs> because <laughs> she told me she had to stay late for work, right? So, you know me yep, being... She lied. This one, I was on some bullshit. <laughs> I was on straight female shit. I went through her purse. And I seen a Wale ticket, though, for the same day she said she had to stay at work. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? Like, and the bad thing about it, I wanted to go to that concert. Oh. <laughs> and after I found out about the Wale ticket, everything just went downhill. Oh, she and I'm different. Like, oh my, this nigga cheating, dog. <laughs> and shit, she probably was. I know she was. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, Wale, man, I love your music, bro. But I get, I feel some type of way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you was listening to him on the way here, dang. <laughs> so what's some signs you know of a nigga like doing some? Like shit ain't the same. Um, I I think I be noticing like when they the texting pattern is off. Mm-hmm. Like like one dude will be texting and you know I'm either I'm supposed to go over there or he's supposed to come to me mm-hmm. and then um like just nothing like yeah, yeah, yeah. where the hell was you at what was you on I'm you know sitting here waiting for you to come over if I'm coming over yeah, yeah, yeah. and you don't say nothing like huh yeah. <laughs> what yeah okay. Yeah, but um, like the the, the texting pattern that junk just be throw completely yeah. off. Yeah. Um, that's what why else? You, that's why you don't start the relationship, but I tell my my, <laughs> my son fifteen, so I try to give him the game. He be fifteen in a couple of days. I mm-hmm. right, listen, bro. Don't overdo shit because that that girl gonna expect you to always be that way. If you texting all day every day, and then of course the conversation ain't gonna be like they used to be, and they're gonna be like, dog, why you ain't texting me like you used to? Right. So it ain't gotta be all yeah, the time. We, we pay attention yeah, to little fucking... stuff like that, or like. What's what's another thing like? You just start acting like super duper overly nice. Mm-hmm. What you up to? Yeah. Or if you accuse me of doing something, or you trying to go through my phone, do I need to be going through your phone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? What's up? No, that's a funny. But yeah. yeah, or sometimes it's just like intuition. Yeah. Something ain't right with this man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing. You know what? One thing I hate is if you go looking for it, you gonna find it. Nigga, I shouldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Like that shit, that shit is crazy to me. Like if you go look for it, but it makes sense though. It do, but it don't. <laughs> like my nigga, I shouldn't see shit. Like it should, it should be free. I feel that. Yeah, yeah you right. And then me, that's why I would never go through. Of course, when you're young, you know, you say I'm old. So when I, I was like, was old. <laughs> when I was like 2021, 20, of course we did those go through phone shit, figure out niggas' passwords. But nah, I can't do that because guess what? We've been together for five years. I'm gonna look at shit in tw- 2007. 
Like, damn, you was a freak in 07. Like, you mad about shit that you wasn't even around for. Like, right. <laughs> so it's not a good idea for me to go look in that shit. Because right. I'm going to get mad about dumb shit. Like, <laughs> you were silly. Yeah, so, and she was nasty in 2007. Yeah, you was doing all type of crazy shit. Like, god damn. <laughs> So you say, but so the phone thing, you do that? Like, do I go through phone? Yeah, is that no, but I <laughs> cut. <laughs> Duh. No, but if I wanted to, I could. Okay, it's it's simple. Mm -hmm. Cause guys, I like in that YouTube video where I talked about how I found out I got cheated on. Mm -hmm. He was just stupid. Like, why is your password this easy? Yeah. You're like, what? Yeah, 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 guys yeah. are dumb. Y'all passwords are simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never told me his password. Like. Ever. Mm -hmm. So I ended up like, he ain't gonna think to, you know, set it as something crazy. I'm about to just try this. Yeah. Boom, got it on the Bingo. first try. See Dang. what I mean? Y'all are dumb. Yeah. Complex it, you know? Yeah, yeah, make that shit up. <laughs> like, put a whole bunch of motherfucking money something. Like, yeah, but... pretty much. <laughs> Exclamation points. But I'm shit. the FBI. That's what my ex called me, the FBI. Because I'm gonna so figure it out. It. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Fun. You put, you put in this shit, so at 902, you put shit together like. Piece by piece. Damn. Exactly. Got to. Damn. You ain't about to play with me. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I grew out of those ways, man. <laughs> I'm just straight. But it don't even be that. Sometimes stuff will literally just come to me. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Now, what, what's your do's and don'ts on a guy approaching you? What if it's like you don't want no niggas in the DMs or like what? What can a nigga? What's the first thing like if he do this? Like, oh hell no. Like his approach, cause. Mm. I, never I, had no approach I don't know. I would definitely prefer you to like approach me in person. Mm -hmm. Like, don't I don't like the finding love on like Instagram and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely an in person type of person. Yeah, for so, sure. yeah, I would, I would recommend that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, what, and then also first date. What 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 that was that like? Cause I I asked that cause my son went on his first date. I was I was proud of the nigga shit man. Mm -hmm. Like went to the movies and stuff. But as an adult, your first date shouldn't be the movies. At all, never. Yeah, so what, what should be that first date? What that should be? First date, I feel like dinner is fine. Like, let's talk, let's ask For each shows. other questions, get to know each other, mm -hmm. boom. But in the movies, you got to sit and be quiet. It's, mm. No. Yeah, yeah, you still don't know shit about them, like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, uh, switch subjects, because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, you know, talk about that no more. <laughs> well, how you get the nickname More Money? My money, that's just what people call me because, you know, I, I'm into a lot of stuff. Like, I be hustling and mm. whatever. I'm going to find me a way to make me some money. Sure, so, that's where that came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now you can tie it back up. So, we, we, <laughs> you, since you you a hustler, you find a way to make money. In a relationship, do that dude got match your hustle? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Definitely. I, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, well, well, last one, I promise. 50 50. You believe in 50 50 relationships? I mean, there's one girl's arguing about this. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, right now, I'm not, I said I'm you, young. I'm not expecting much. Like, we still building, yeah, trying still to get trying our to get, stuff yeah. together. So, I'm not, it de it depends on, like, I guess, how old you are and what you got going sure. on. Because, sure. you like me, I, I haven't really messed with nobody my age in a while. But, mm. um, hey, yeah, like, guys. if you're, like, around <laughs> my age, yeah. then I'm not, I'm not really expecting you to pay yeah, yeah, because you're going to come over like me. Yeah, 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 for sure. I feel you. I get what you're saying. Now, uh, I see you be on your roll bounce skating thing. You know what I'm saying? I said you was the queen of skating and stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm mad at y'all. Why? Because I, I tried skating for the first time in a long time. Like, I used to go skating all the time. That was the way you get your girls. Like, skating, the mall, that was the way you get, you know, little girls when you were growing up, you know, mm -hmm. 14 to 17, 16. So, this is my first time skating in a long ass time. Like, I had to see if I could still do it. <laughs> but these niggas are so serious on the skating. Ring that I'll buy again too with nigga because I wasn't skating good enough. Like he had to squeeze past me, he looked at me, I'm like, nigga, I'm hey, just skating, nigga. Hey, it get that serious. You see us coming. That's why they say like slower, newer skaters in the middle, let the faster, older <laughs> skaters on the outside. Okay, so that's why I fucked up because I was on the out outside because oh, yeah. I didn't want to fall and shit. So I'm like, man, I'm doing my little shit. Like, oh, I feel it. The wall, not your friend. Man. You hold on to that, you gonna whoop. Yeah. You falling back like that. This nigga was doing all type of twirls and shit. And they, then the niggas, they was holding each other's hands, doing some shit. I'm like, damn, this shit mm. weird. And Not this weird. Got, <laughs> he got mad as hell. Like, I'm talking about, he got this to the point that my cousin, my brother, like, dog, my man tripping. I'm like, y'all know, nigga. Like, this, <laughs> this skating is serious. That is art. We take that shit to art. <laughs> man. And I see, like, the shit you was doing, you know, with, on, your, on your Instagram, well, boy, I'm like, that shit serious. Y'all was dipping. It was like y'all was in the club. And, you know, <laughs> Well, I wish I could do some shit like that. Like, <laughs> like that's something you've been doing for a long time? Um, Like, learning, like, moves and stuff. I've been learning that. I mean, I've been 
doing that for like the past three years but i always went skating growing up mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause like it was the reason why we was doing it because uh, my wife or auntie like she be going out of town skating like they be skating tough. Mm -hmm. So she told us like yeah the first hour is for y'all, but <laughs> at a certain time these niggas about to get out here and go crazy. Uh -huh. I guess I was an hour too long. <laughs> nigga about to like that fuck, I'll take these fucking skates off, nigga. Like <laughs> I was mad as hell. Like then I was mad I can't do this shit. <laughs> hey man, you better get you some lessons. Oh yeah, hey, I'm gonna do that shit. I think so. Cause me and my wife, my brother was in, but we we skate like this all no. still. These niggas come in <laughs> dancing, dipping. I'm like, man, fuck you. I'm going home. <laughs> It'd be like that. So that's something like I, I, you like doing. Like I see you say you do that a lot. Like that's something you do yeah, to get your mind on things. I love skating. It's definitely an escape to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I when I go skating, I usually go by myself. Mm -hmm. And then I make my friends there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. So for it's, sure. it's definitely a whole little skate community yeah, out yeah. here. No, it's, it's serious too. Mm -hmm. It's serious. So if y'all niggas can't skate, dog, niggas. And that's what I be trying to tell y'all, but. Yeah, I ain't listen. <laughs> I ain't goddamn listen for sure. Now, uh, on a deeper, on a deeper level, like a uh, conversation, what's something within yourself you feel like you need to change to maybe that's maybe holding you back? Ooh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I lack patience. Okay. Patience is what I what I've been getting tested with this whole year, mm -hmm. and then I probably ain't passing the test. I yeah, ain't gonna yeah. lie, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so what, what what is it like? You just expect things to be like right there. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. but it don't work like that. Yeah. Um. Also, I feel like I have many like lanes that I can go down. Mm -hmm. I can do, you know, I do lashes, I can do the acting, I can do comedy. Like, I, I just have too many yeah. talents, and I want to narrow it down to one, but I be feeling like, okay, which one makes the most sense right now? But they mm -hmm. all be kind of making sense, so it's like, Yeah, uh, for sure, no, yeah, I, I don't know it. how to feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you feel like that's the one thing that's kind of like getting in your way because... Yeah, 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 you're hitting my, your mind cloud with so many things you want to do. Definitely, like, being a jack of all trades is yeah. not... <laughs> not it yeah, yeah, yeah. i would tell you that <laughs> for sure no uh, for sure no but think about it it's, it's okay too because like i call this nigga jamaican because he do everything <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that's cool and then one of them gonna pan off and when that one thing pan off it's gonna lead to everything else right you know what that's that's, what, that's why i'm trying to figure out okay which one am i gonna focus on right now yeah but i still don't know like, I get frustrated, too, because I know I got the best podcast in the city. Yeah. Shit, damn near the world, almost, but... <laughs> no, you gotta but have an attitude. I be wanting that junk to, like... I be seeing a lot of people's shows that, like, doing a little bit better. So, sometimes you could be in your own way, because you could be like, dog, why, why is this nigga shit or her shit popping off and mine's ain't? But sometimes you just got to wait your turn. Yeah. And shit, yeah, when it I happen, definitely it try not to compare myself to people. Yeah, that's one thing I got a problem with myself is, like, comparing situations and looking at other things and stuff. And that's the one thing I think that be in my way, too. So. Yeah, I think, like, what's helping me is... Um, like making sure I'm doing it for fun. At first, it was like, oh, you can make money off social media. Like that was my whole thing, money, money, money. Like that's what I'm seeing. But it's like, I ain't making money, so I ain't even about to post a video. Like I don't even care no more. Yeah. But it's like, no, wait a minute, wait a yeah. minute. Yeah, for sure. Do this for fun, and yeah. then it will come. If you look like you having fun with it, that's gonna attract people. Yeah, because so. yeah. everything start being serious, then yeah, it take the you know it take it kind of make your talent go away a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. This girl dope. She last minute good conversation. <laughs> <was> still straight. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. Now what's some young nigga shit versus some some shit I've been through? For example, I use this as an example all the time. It's funny as hell. Young nigga shit, I never eat no coochie. <laughs> Grown nigga, bring so it you on. <laughs> <laughs> as a young nigga, hell no. Your uncle say you about that nigga. I never, ever. Amen. When you young, you like nigga shit. When you old, you like you shit. Know. <laughs> what up? And like I said, for the people that's watching, it's me talking. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. It's a way for me to go ahead and let people know what, what it's about. So, yeah, so that was my young nigga thinking versus <laughs> what I'm going through now. So, what's some shit it, off of that? It ain't got to be that, but that's just an example. What's some young thinking that you had, like, and but right now you ain't on that shit no more? Some young thinking. Oh, I don't know. Dang, I hate when I be speechless. Yeah, see, I mean, podcasts got to taste notes, man. I know a lot of, <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers ask the basic questions. Like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, what you nah, got going on? I feel that. I, I like this, though. This is this is stuff that I need to be writing down, as a matter of fact, because mm, I have no clue. Yeah, no, I, I might have that. to inbox you my answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. And, and, and you're still young, so maybe 
It's some shit you thinking right now that when you be like, you know, 35, you be like, oh, shit, I was, I was tripping at 23. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know how old she is. I do super heavy. <laughs> I see, G. Birthday July 27th. Am I the FBI or you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, off of that, you was talking about, like, we talking about podcasts, and I was talking about how I got dope podcasts. You ever thought about starting a podcast? I did. Yeah. And a, a lot of people have, like, reached out to me to see if I would, like, come on and be a co-host or whatever. Mm -hmm. I might like, definitely, but like nobody be serious. Yeah, for sure. No, you know? no like no, you got to no. find that that team of people who are like that's what I want. People who are passionate about what they do because mm -hmm. I know like they ain't gonna play around with it. No, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, some yeah. people they just want to do this for like fun. But this would be something that I would take serious. Yeah, yeah. So it's like for sure. nah, I ain't even about to waste my time with you. Yeah, yeah. And you definitely gonna need the right team around you who ain't gonna be on no bullshit because that's how I got this podcast because I was supposed to do it with two other. <laughs> people my cousin his homeboy mm -hmm. but they was on bullshit so one day i said fuck it i'm just gonna interview different people yeah and look at you now yeah, see? i'm on episode 97 what up got my homie right here we talking <laughs> shit you know what i'm saying so uh towards the end of the show we always do like a, a versus battle i give you two things and you tell me which one to be uh, a win uh -oh. ain't gotta be ain't gotta be like rapper or music it'd be you know different things all right so uh seafood versus soul food <laughs> so food. All right. In person game versus DM game. In person. In person game. Okay. 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 Solid baby versus a uh, peasy. Ah, I ain't gonna lie. I love Solid baby. Like he be giving me hype. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Detroit versus Atlanta. Detroit. Cool. 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 Snowfall versus BMF. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say BM, BMF because that's just hometown bound. Like, you gotta rock with them, I yeah. feel like. I said snowfall. <laughs> I, get, I mean, but I'm. I'm yeah, just... but yeah, you say what you're supposed to say. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it. No, I get it, I get it. Uh, summertime gear versus wintertime gear. I'm gonna say summertime. Yeah. See, see, I know why you say that. Why is that? Because the women can show a little bit more in the summertime. But, <laughs> you know, so for us, you get that drip when you get when it's cold outside. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Summertime is just like my thing. Like like I said, I, I think I really hate the wintertime. I'm no, going to say oh, dislike yeah. the winter. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I hate yeah. that shit too. Uh, acting in a TV show or acting in a movie? TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, TV, TV show money probably a little bit better too. Because more consistent seem like. I mean, I could be wrong. Mm. I don't know because I feel like movies they they never really go away but like mm. TV shows mm. they come on and then they get canceled and then you gotta wait for however long until they put them back on air or whatever but and the only thing about TV shows too you can get stuck in a character and can't do shit else right yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> but the um um the movies like you gonna well, I guess you always get paid from the TV shows but mm. that residual income is gonna come and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. heck yeah t uh, t tall guy short guy Tall. Okay. Hell yeah, that's tall people. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, dog. Uh, hey, I'll I be having them as my. Oh, Aaliyah versus Beyonce. Ah, uh, Aaliyah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, do I got last one? Let's see. Last one. Last one. Nope. <laughs> oh, old school music versus new school music. Old school. All, All right. Day. All right. Cool. 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 Now we end everything off. If you want, if you want to, you know, what I'm saying, give us a story. Cool. If not, cool. Drunk moment or high moment? A funny story when you was one or both. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I could do like a my my first time having an edible. Oh so shit. So the first time I had an edible, I was um date. I think this was our first date. Okay. And we went to the movies. Damn. But we had we had we was working with each other, so we already knew each other and stuff. So I guess it was cool. Mm. But we went to the movies, and um, that edible. I don't know what his grandma did to it, but it was good. It was <laughs> real good. So I'm I'm going in. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, this, this is tight. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Cool. And we went to go see the um escape room, I believe. Oh shit. So edible watching that. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. So I was told up. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, something ain't right. So yeah. I couldn't even feel my lip at first. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, feel my lip. He like, what? <laughs> he might think it's something. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I'm like, I can't feel my lip. Like yeah. I'm, I'm hitting it like this, looking Duh. stupid. I'm like, dog. Like he like, where's the edible at? Mm. I'm like, <laughs> so I damn near ate the whole thing. Like damn. it was just one little piece left. Yeah. And then uh, we ended up leaving. Mm. 
and we sitting outside of his house mm. and i'm like dog i can't drive yeah and he and i remember like before the movie he had bought me some um i forgot what kind of <laughs> snacks it was but i'm like nigga i don't eat that like what the fuck yeah, 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 <laughs> i'm like yeah. i don't eat that i ain't about to eat that yeah. but shit i ate that shit then yeah, high as hell. and i said <laughs> man Hell no. I don't even remember breathing when I was in there. Like, I was <laughs> no. going in. Hell yeah, because the elbows get you together. Man, what? That was, I still remember them. You wasn't scared or nothing? Oh, I was shook. Oh, yeah. I was shook. I'm like. Have you had one since? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. See, you <laughs> my experience was so, I, didn't, I can't fuck that. I can't do it. I was so, I was so shook that my son was going to ride me. What? I was fucked up. I was about to make a Facebook status saying I love everybody, think I'm about to die and shit. Like. And my pinky toe was high. Not your pinky you know, Everything was high. Like, my whole body was high. Was no, like, that is how it be, though. Man. That is how it be. Man, I called my brother. I was about to get a good crying. Like, dog. <laughs> I'm so high, bro. I, was, I called this nigga like. Nah, man. But that's I, ain't no joke. Nah, it's not. But I definitely, I couldn't stop eating them chips. And then I remember being just so mad that they was gone. I'm like, I just opened them two seconds ago. <laughs> what is you saying? <laughs> man, fucked up and mad. God damn, that's crazy as hell. Yeah, so you say that, that didn't deter you from eating no more edibles, though. I mean, the I haven't had the the one I just had. What was that like? Two six? When was that? <laughs> before. <laughs> yeah, it's like shit, nigga. Before we got here, nigga, you high as hell right now. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, yeah. So um. That was the last time I had one before yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't make nothing up now, nah, yeah, damn. Right. You about to say last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think you high. <laughs> damn, man. But no, but no, that's funny as hell. Yeah, them elbows don't, they, they ain't no joke. No. Nah. Ain't no joke. But no, I appreciate you coming on the show. All Anytime. that good shit, man. It was like I said, last minute, but hey, we made it happen. I got some good research in though. You found out. You, you sure was... did. I'm like, oh. Yeah, you know. All right. <laughs> I, I tried to do my job. You know what I'm saying? I was up. Like, damn, I got to find somebody. You hit me. I'm like, hell yeah. I was just about to go back to sleep. Like, fuck. Really? <laughs> canceled. This week canceled. Oh, I'm glad nah, I came. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like I said, whenever you got anything coming up, shit, come back through. Of and course. You want to leave people with anything, positive words? Just keep going. Yeah. I think that's my whole little, little no, for motto. Sure. Simple. Simple. Hell yeah. True. Even when you feel like it might be time to give up, nope. Mm-mm. It's light at the end of the tunnel. For sure. Keep going. For sure. You want to get people your socials where they can find you at? Uh, Marisa Moniz on Facebook, Instagram. I'm not really on Twitter like that. I don't even remember my Twitter name. <laughs> so scratch that, cut that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, TikTok is Marisa Moniz, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's that's where you can find me. At. And she already got that name. Seems like she an actress already. Like she's supposed to be in the movies, Marisa Mon Moniz. I love my name. Like yeah. at first, it's like it sounds a little difficult. Yeah. Um. The way it's spelled is be throwing people off, but I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna just, yeah. I'm gonna just rock with it. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, somebody gonna name their kid after me. <laughs> what's your middle name? Monis. No, oh, oh Monis, your middle name. Yeah. Oh, okay, dope, dope. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah, but yeah, man, it's episode 97. Marisa Monis. You know what I'm saying? Dope actress, skater, dancer, <laughs> YouTuber, comedian. Yeah, comedian. <laughs> Good stories. Some her not. <laughs> <laughs> but until next time oh yeah shout out to uh, homie in, in, in the lobby Dominique right Dominique. yeah Dominique in the back you know what I'm saying giving out the, uh, the good edible uh, 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 <laughs> game and shit so until next time peace out man <laughs> <laughs>